Graphics and Sports Icons of the 20s by me. The League of Nations was founded on January 10th, 1920. It was the first worldwide organization whose purpose was to maintain world peace. It ended on April 20th, 1946. It mainly failed because the United States refused to join, but also the voting structure was terrible. The U.S. not joining made the League of Nations power very limited. Women's suffrage is the right for women to vote in the U.S. It had been going on for nearly a hundred years. They held speeches, made signs, and etc. to try and win. It was ratified on August 18, 1920. Elizabeth Caddy Stanton started the movement. The Constitution was twice amended. The 18th Amendment was added, prohibiting the manufacture, sale, transport, and transportation of alcoholic beverages for consumption, repealed in 1933. The 19th Amendment was added for women's rights, which allowed women to vote. The de facto president. On October 15th, or she was born on October 15th, 1872, Elizabeth Bowling Galt Wilson. She ran the executive branch after her husband, Woodrow Wilson, the 20th president, had a stroke. She was the first female president, per se. She died December 28, 1961. De facto means in fact or in effect, whether by right or not. Babe Ruth, the first sports icon, born on February 6, 1895. His real name was George Herman Ruth Jr. He played for Boston Red Sox. New York Yankees, and Boston Braves. Babe Ruth married Helen Woodford and then Claire Merritt. He died on August 16, 1948. Jack Dempsey, born on June 24, 1895, nicknamed Kid Blackie, was a famous boxer he won 68 out of 85 fights his whole career. He only ever got knocked out once in his whole career by Jim Flynn. He was known as the man who inspired Mike Tyson. He died on May 31st, 1983. Johnny Weismuller, born on June 2nd, 1904. Competitive swimmer water polo player, and actor. He played Tarzan in his acting career. He set 67 swimming world records. He won five Olympic gold medals, and he had a total of five different wives. He died on January 20th, 1984. New Rockney. Born on March 4th, 1888. He has the same birthday as me, but 116 years before mine. He was a famous football coach who built the University of Notre Dame in Indiana into major power in the college football. He died on March 31st, 1931. He died in a plane crash on the way to participate in the production of the film The Spirit of Notre Dame, released October 13th, 1931. And this is my work cited.